OTC, OVCC. Go, OVCC. MS2 is boarded at 1658. And Swanee's now in the MS2 seat. And you can see the camera looking down at him right now. Steve is the MS2 or flight engineer, and uh, he'll be assisting CJ and Brew with the nominal procedures going uh, during the ascent and also on entry. And he's responsible for keeping track of all the nominal timeline operations and the checklists and making sure that everything's followed. At attention on the net, this is the NTD conducting the launch status check. All personnel verify ready to resume count and go for launch. OTC? OTC go. TBC. CTC. TBC go. go. And TBC go. LTS? LTS go. Houston flight. Houston flight is go. Pila. Pila is go. STM. STM is go. Safety console. Safety console is go. STE. STE is go. LRD. LRD is go. SRO. SRO is go. You have range clear to launch. And CDR. Atlantis is go. Copy Atlantis. Launch director NTD. Launch director. Launch team is ready to proceed. I copy, Steve. Thank you. Processing chief engineer. Verify no constraints to launch. Engineer team is go, Mike. Thank you, Charlie. KC safety and mission assurance. We're go, Mike. Thank you, Lana. Payload launch manager. Uh, the KSC space station team and the S3S4 trucks are go, Mike. Copy. Thanks, Norm. Range weather. Weather is no constraints for launch. Thank you, Kathy and ops manager. Launch director, ops manager, Mike DMMT is not working any issues. You are go to launch. Copy, Leroy. Thank you. Atlantis, launch director. Atlantis, go ahead, sir. Okay, CJ, it took us a little while to get to this point, but uh, the ship's in great shape. It was a beautiful weather day for you out there, so good luck and Godspeed. We'll see you back here in about 12 days or so. Thank you, sir. On uh, behalf of the entire crew, I'd like to express our appreciation to the teams for Pad 39 Alpha, ET-124, and the Space Shuttle Atlantis for their dedication and hard work. See you in a couple weeks. Copy. Thank you. Entity, with that, you're clear to launch Atlanta. Copy, sir. Clear to launch. Atlanta. Mother Nature has taken her shot. Now it's our turn to fly. Have a good one. Yeah, Atlanta, Roger. CLS is go for orbiter access arm retract. Steering checks of the three main engines are now underway. Fusils now on internal reactants. Atlanta, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. Atlantis, Roger. Forty-five seconds in counting. Forty-five seconds to launch. ET helium inject Delta P number two. Standing by for the handoff. We're go. Copy. And the handoff has occurred. Ground loss sequencer has handed off to Atlantis's onboard computers. Twenty-five seconds. Sales and pressure water system is activated. 15 seconds in counting. 10 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7. Main engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis to assemble the framework for the science laboratories of tomorrow. Houston now controlling. Houston Atlantis, roll program. Roger, roll Atlantis. Atlantis's roll maneuver is complete. The uh, orbiter's in a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 137 by 36 statute mile orbit. All systems in good shape. 
engines throttling down as atlantis prepares to maneuver through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere already seven miles away from the kennedy space center at an altitude of five miles houston atlantis go and throttle up copy houston go and throttle up one minute, ten seconds into the flight, the three liquid-fueled engines are back at full throttle. At liftoff, the fully-fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. It now has burned half that liftoff weight in propellant. One minute, thirty seconds, all hydraulic systems in good shape. The electricity producing fuel cells also in excellent shape as Atlantis heads downrange. 18 miles from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 18 miles. The next event is burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters, which are burning propellant at a rate of 11,000 pounds per second. SRB separation is confirmed two minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. Atlantis is traveling 3,000 miles per hour, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 46 miles, altitude 35 miles. Ignition of the twin orbital maneuvering system engines on the tail of the orbiter, providing an additional boost toward ascent and heading off toward the International Space Station. Two minutes, 45 seconds into the flight. Atlantis, two engine tow. Copy, uh, two engine tow. Atlantis can reach Zaragoza in Spain in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three engines are continuing to perform as expected. Hydraulic systems in excellent shape, as are the fuel cells producing the electricity for the vehicle. Three minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis is 97 miles downrange at an altitude of 51 miles, traveling 6,000 miles per hour. Atlantis, single engine Ops 3. Copy, single engine Ops 3. Five minutes, 55 seconds into the flight. Atlantis beginning to roll to a heads up position, the onboard guidance system putting Atlantis on a trajectory toward the International Space Station. Atlantis, single engine, Zaragoza 104. Copy, single engine, Zaragoza 104. And that call uh, means that Atlanta can reach Zaragoza in Spain on one engine. Press to Miko. Copy, Houston, press to Miko. Produced by Tubin Mofo 2.